Hello, it's Molly Reamer with 30 Days of Goddess in Bridget's Grove with this week's mini ritual using earth runes, the story goddess oracle, the daily practice companion deck, some of our March snapshot cards, and a little assist from Denise Lynn's The Sacred Forest Oracle. And so first we're going to go ahead and begin with the tree. The earth runes are a new oracle card system that I'm building this year as part of my goddess magic community on Patreon. And so this this week's rune is the tree, the rune of stability, grounding, grounded flexibility, roots, earth wisdom, generations, and listening. So how do you feel your own roots? Are they stretching forth, extending? Do you have space and time in which to grow, to sink your roots deeper, to extend yourself further, to reach up into your own possibility? Or do you feel cramped and confined like you don't have enough room? to stretch out and grow how stable do you feel do you feel like you can rest in this your own stability in your own grounding do you feel a sense of grounding and renewal or the ability to ground I struggle sometimes with grounding myself where I feel like I am perhaps you know moving my mind moves faster than the rest of me can keep up with sometimes and I joke that that I have trouble keeping up with my very own self. And so for me, it is absolutely vital that I take time outside each day and that I walk, that I go for a walk. This is part of a literal grounding. Grounding isn't something that I do visually or in my mind. It's something that I have to do with my actual body on the earth. So what is your relationship like with grounding and how, what types of grounding practices do you employ or find nourish you? And then, so I was actually going to make a separate, one of my little one minute ritual videos and Nematona is the card that jumped out for the one minute ritual. And then I thought, I know our goddess for March is uh, Ellen of the Ways, but my card that I had left over from my packets at Gaia Goddess Gathering this year was Nematona, and Nematona's connection is to the Sacred Groves, which is one of Ellen of the Ways connections as well. So I felt like she was really compatible, and I felt like her emergence today really was appropriate for our month of sacred forests and growth. So anyway, she has, and so we'll still have the words here, but on the back, she has extend. Oh, so that connects really well to our grounding. May you extend your roots and find that you have the stability necessary to grow. And then her affirmation on the back is, I am in touch with delight. So may you allow yourself to be in touch with delight. And her little prayer or practice or reminder when I drop back into center when I come home to myself I find I am full not empty I am gentle with myself as I come back home over and over again this is such an important reminder and the fullness is something so Patricia Lynn Riley writes about being full of yourself and how that that has been used to shame people particularly women over time like oh she's so full of herself and like what else would you rather be full of (laughs) So it is, so I I have embarked on a journey of reclamation with that phrase and I do find that I'm full and in some traditions you are advised to, you know, be empty or empty, empty out everything and, and, um, and when I drop into my own interior life, I find that I am full, not empty, full of magic, full of curiosity, full of ideas, full of wonder, full of goodness. And so. May you be gentle with yourself as you come back home over and over again. And then from our daily practice deck, ease. Oh, may you know ease in your days as we ease into spring. May you let some things be easy. May you allow ease. May you be open to ease. May you take a moment to sit with ease and design your life from there. So this is, I'm really finding, I'm really finding 
that I have this personal, like an urge to kind of take a break already, even though things are, leaves, leaves are starting to bud out and there's a lot of birds singing and there's, we were vacillating really wildly between clear blue skies and, and gray shrouded skies. And I feel this interior calling to kind of take a break, to step back. And I think it's that I'm want, I'm looking for some ease for some time as I wrote in In the Temple of the Ordinary Volume 2 to lie in the violets and feel time uncurl beneath me. So our practice, put one hand on your heart and one on your belly and listen. This is invaluable. I know it sounds simple, but there is so much wisdom there because as we said before, you are actually full of wisdom and insight and knowing if you give yourself time to listen. And then this one's prayer. May I share my joy. May I share my delight. May I share my heart. May I share my magic. And then let's go with our little assist. This one I really, so I was deciding which deck to use. I reached for another one and then I, my eyes caught on the Sacred Forest Oracle instead. And I was thinking about Nematona and I was thinking about the tree. And I thought, okay, Sacred Forest Oracle is where it is. So we received Pine Spirit, the card of purification. And the overall message here is to let go of the things that feel dull and murky in your life. Perhaps cleanse your body and your environment by doing cleaning, space clearing, and clutter clearing. And it says when your field, when your auric field is cluttered and your energy is dingy, you can't see the world clearly and you'll have trouble hearing messages from spirit. The time has come to lighten up. It is essential to let go of the old before we step into a shiny, vibrant new cycle. So the message is to let go of the old, discarded and unused, clutter clear your home, your body and your life, and you will feel brighter and clearer for it. And then I had a couple of, so I'm gonna go with a, I'm gonna go with this card from our March snapshot deck, which actually connects really well to ease and to listening and everything. So closing today with this, you may, this is a practice and a prayer and a blessing all in one. So you may wish to pause and put a hand on your heart and a hand on your belly and then offer this along with me. I pause, I take a deep breath of restoration. I offer a long exhale of peace. I take a deep breath of inspiration. I offer a long exhale of gratitude. I take a deep breath of liberation. I offer a deep breath of love. Here I am in the center of my own life. I offer what I offer. I give what I give. I trust my own enoughness. I trust my own clarity of purpose. I trust my own deep capacity and the voice of my own longing. I trust the sacred knowing that settles into me when I give myself time to listen. So may you give yourself time to listen. May you trust the sacred knowing. May you clear and declutter. May you ground and draw up strength and stability. May you share your joy and your delight. And may you be open to ease. Thank you so much for being here. Keep living your magic. Bye-bye.